Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Today I want to give you guys uh, a pretty interesting case for the Tea Master. So the Tea Master is a new Tavern 6 card and it buffs three different uh, minion type cards by plus two plus two when you play a minion that doesn't have one. So you can play like a bunch of crap like Nomi, the, the Cup, uh, you, your Tavern Tippers, whatever. You can just buy them. It's kind of like a Menagerie Helper. The problem is that Menagerie builds have like a really big issue with overall board space, but if you're only scaling off of the Tea Master, you can just scale three minions up, kind of. So it's not exactly like traditional Menagerie, and it seems pretty good, like it's a lot of stats, right? Well, last week I made a video calling this card Total Bait, and that video was absolutely spot on. This card is horrible. And today I want to give you guys the nail in the coffin on it because I played what I thought was a pretty well executed uh, build featuring Tea Master, and I somehow managed to get myself a golden Tea Master. Like this is this is the peak Tea Master situation basically. And how well did it go? Well, that's for you to judge, I guess. But in my opinion, it could have gone a little better. I'm leaning AFK here. I think AFK has some cool plays because there's a number of new three drops that actually skyrocket AFK's power, particularly the new demon that improves the shop. If you get that before you start buying things, that's insane. And dragons, but there's no there's no dragons in this one. Could I have one if I only had the cleave elemental on the board? That's really interesting. Um, I don't think so. You can win this whole. What a fantastic board. Okay. AFK with the Terragosa and Dragon that gives plus two plus yeah. Yeah, that is crazy. Don't muck it up. <laughs> oh, tough time out there, eh? Maybe something here will lift your spirits. You're doing great, so just be you. Okay, let's do it. What do we get? I did get the Legion Overseer. I got a mech buffer. I guess I have the Soul Juggler also. I guess we're gonna do the Soul Juggler. I think this is a decent start. Not amazing, but but decent. Alright. Never pick Soul Juggler, just on principle. Spend 45 gold, get Giga Attack. That's pretty powerful that early. I think plain copy is the play. Me, that one. I promise they won't move a muscle with me watching. Yeah, next turn level up costs five, and I'll have seven. So the Murloc's actually better than the Gambler because I'll get I'll get the extra card. This is so many stats for turn four. Like, like even if the Juggler just gets sniped, it doesn't really matter. Getting the early Legion Overseer is just so crazy. Yeah, could have bought the pirate and sold it this turn. Oh, uh, you mean for the quest. Oh, I see. Okay, I didn't think about that because I actually want to buy it. Like, I, I want to buy it next turn. Uh, but you're right. You're right. Maybe maybe that was better. Extra Fry is the peripheral company. Uh, I've been using an Extra Fry mouse uh, ever since my Cubital Tunnel onset, like three years ago. And they partnered with me like a year back. And now we even have a Crypt mouse with them which is what I use. Saw it from the sidelines. Magnificent that was. Okay, so we actually level first. Oh, I guess it is a summon minion quest. Should we go with the harvest golem? Next turn seven. You know what, let's go with the harvest golem. 
because the sooner we get this quest going, the better. All right, I'll be back in a sec. Keep it up, master. I think I can pull this off, because it's uh, it's an after combat effect, so if both of these die, and I think they can, I will get a card. That's right, ain't nobody can beat you! Soul Juggler number two. Well, you sure showed them, didn't ya? Sure, this I can probably level. I think I'm strong enough. So. We'll take you down. Yeah. Playing mid range demon. Well, on turn seven on AFK, I'm on tavern five. So. <laughs> It's hardly, it's hardly a mid-range situation. It's just the cards we were offered. We, we made the best use of them that we could. Wow, well, really, mid-range demons, Crip? Yeah, I'm an asshole. The game is yours to win, master! I never doubt it, not for a minute. I think leveling here is probably a mistake. I feel that's bait. Hmm. All right, I see the potential. Don't want to press you, master, but you might want to hire My premonition's always right. Welcome to the rush, Can't you resistance. see? Okay. Use the best there is! First place. Saw it from the sidelines. Magnificent that was. That one's more fitting for your stature, I think. Oh, he's the guy who killed the other guy. Fuck. can try this. Yeah, Felbat is the main thing I'm looking for. Course you're at the top. Who else? Ok, 
Okay, we're gonna take 15. And we do have a full turn on Tavern 6. God, this is so fucking bait. Why am I taking the bait? This is a bit, bit of a mess of a build, but the um, demon is not going to carry long enough. Fucking bait! Dude, I'm getting hardcore baited right now. Can you even imagine being that powerful? This is no place for mortals! That went very badly. I think I might actually die with that RNG. That was horrendous. Yeah. That's about 30, isn't it? Oh, it is 30. Okay. That was very unlucky. Yeah, average damage 18, chance to die 2. This build's very wonky. Never too late to recover, Master. Okay, we got a 
triple Theotar. We'll buy up the neutrals. And the demon is fine. Because we can try to siphon the demon. Which we were unsuccessful, but we have a second try. This build is actually less shitty than it looks. Slightly less shitty anyway. Steady hand. Damn. YouTube build. I don't know, these guys look pretty fucking nuts. Yeah, the stats on it are okay. Yeah, they're, they're okay. Actually forcing Theotar. This is the first time I've ever seen anyone play this card past like turn 9, after which they immediately died. Which I almost did. <laughs> we almost lived the experience. Yeah. You're doing great, so just be you. Uh, okay. I think that was actually pretty unlucky. It was fairly likely that the poison or the big minion will connect with his big minion. I had two chances. I think I should have won. I think I'm actually favored there. Yep. It's close, but I was favored. I almost always win, unless he wins like two coin flips. That that was kind of my impression. Should have won. Oh, 52 to 37. That's pretty, that's pretty good. Mm, yeah. Oh, well. <laughs>